Good morning, church family. I'm excited to be bringing the devotion today. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite verses, Psalm 51:10. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. This is one of my favorite verses because it reminds me to seek a heart like Jesus. It also reminds me that I need to be steadfast in pursuing Jesus and where exactly I should put my hope. After all, it is he who began a good work in me, and it is he who will carry out that good work until the day of his return. That's Philippians 1.6. David wrote Psalms 51 as a prayer of repentance. He had sinned by committing adultery with Bathsheba and even killed to cover up that sin. Like David, we can belong to God, love God, and desire to please God, but still fall into the traps that Satan has set before us. And what do you do when you find yourself in this situation? Do you try to cover it up with lies and excuses? Or do you rush to God, confess the sin, and seek his forgiveness? I know I have done both at times. I've found myself in both situations. And while it is not fun admitting when I am wrong, I do believe God grows us when we can honestly seek his forgiveness. My prayer has become that I would run to Jesus in repentance before I do anything else. God is always faithful to forgive us when we turn to him. He always welcomes us with open arms. I am so thankful my God is willing to forgive a sinner like me. We definitely do not deserve his forgiveness, but he has mercy on us and gives it freely because he loves us and wants a relationship with us. Romans 12.1 says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. It encourages us to take our everyday, ordinary life and give it to God as an offering. When we do this, we lift our eyes off of ourselves and we set them on God. What are some ways we can take our ordinary life and place it before God as an offering? Please comment below. Thanks guys, we love y'all.